Hello there. The two tropical cyclones out in the open waters of the West Pacific have rapidly strengthened the last 24 hours and become strong typhoons. Now, the first one we're most concerned about is uh, Typhoon Lekima, which has developed a, a very distinct eye. It's moving to the northwest of Taiwan, battering some of the islands to the south of Japan as we speak. And this one behind it is Typhoon Krosa, also developed an eye as it became a typhoon in the last 12 hours. Now, both systems, this one meandering out in open waters, this one is going to move northwestward to bring very heavy rain, huge waves and damaging winds to the northern tip of Taiwan. And then it'll weaken slowly as it reaches eastern China. It'll bring some very heavy rain and strong winds even to the Shanghai region into the weekend and then weaken further as the remnants pushes on into the northeast of China, perhaps into the Beijing area. But uh, Typhoon Krosa uh, meanders out in open waters for a while, still as a strong system. It doesn't get its act together really until we head into next week. So it could be it'll approach Japan the middle part of next week to bring some very heavy rain. But in the short term, it's Taipei, Shanghai, which will be bearing the brunt of damaging winds and flooding downpours. Now, across South Asia, we've seen a real spike in the monsoon rains, particularly for the Western Ghats, over a metre's worth of rain falling here since the start of August. We've also seen a monsoon low which developed in the North Bay of Bengal. It's been moving westwards across northern India, and by Saturday and Sunday, it'll be out across the northwest, affecting southern uh, Pakistan as well. So it could be to Karachi, see some flooding downpours by the time Sunday's out. Now, behind me is the aftermath of what was a pretty significant landslide near the Lake Como area of northern Italy. Now, this was in response to torrential thunderstorms which have been battering the region during Tuesday and Wednesday, all tied in with this front which moved up from the southwest, battering parts of Switzerland, southern France and northern Italy. It's been moving on across Austria and into Poland through Thursday and by Friday. It'll be an area of low pressure across Western Russia, bringing some wet and windy weather there. But behind it, pressure builds in, so it looks like it'll kill off most of the showers, although there is signs of more disturbed weather moving in from the southwest into next week.